Hello YouTube, what is going on? This is Mark here bringing you another video and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. What's sad about this is that I actually recorded this entire video but then my mic was muted so this is my second time going through this video again. Uh, today I'm going to be covering some esports analysis here doing the first semifinals in the EU main tournament number two of the critical ops circuit between Elevate and Merciless. If you watched you know that Elevate dismantled Merciless on both maps 13 to 3 on Grounded and 13 to to zero on legacy so i really want to support the esports scene here i know a lot of you guys have been saying hey we want to see esports stuff a little bit as much you know as well or just a little bit more here so i was actually behind the scenes here basically doing everything production related so everything you saw on the screen was handled by me so come watch those games if you do want to support go follow at cops underscore esports i also cast so i just want to build up the esports ecosystem to give you some more insight into these pro matches um so doing some little analyst work here i would love some feedback for you guys uh, but let's cover how Elevate actually did beat Merciless here on map one. And overall, um, Elevate had three strong factors that led to their success that I'm going to go back to and repeat time and time again in this video. Those are quick rotations, the ability to buy time, as well as trade fragging. So um, we're going to go over here a couple rounds here, specifically around number one, as well as um, round number six round number nine and round 16. so i just want to show you guys what we're going to be headed on in today uh, but let's just dive right, right into round one um you'll you'll hear a little bit of the audio in the background but that's just going to be there for you guys to hear um just a little bit um so elevate they actually play a pretty interesting setup here on the coalition side they have three over towards a and two over towards tower so no one is actually on B. Pay attention to this because it allows for quick rotations throughout this round. And due to Grounded being a map where the bomb sites are moderately far away, the rotations would take a bit longer. So Elevate took the mindset of preferring to play a 5v5 retake rather than splitting those bomb sites, which is actually what led to their success on round one. Um, this reasoning is, is pretty speculative here, but I think it's, it's pretty accurate. Uh, B is super hard to hold if you only have two people sitting in B mid or B long, right? So they decide, hey, let's just do a retake option here instead of trying to hold b site on our own just two players those are poppy unluck as well as genesis so they decided we're going to stick over towards that tower and truck position and i think also they've done the research on merciless i'm assuming so they know that merciless's pistol round tendencies uh, might actually have an edge going into this round because they know that so notice one thing at the pro level they don't actually push here so elevate they're getting themselves set up over towards that a bomb site but they never end up pushing so this round actually unfolds out pretty slowly it is merciless to actually just sit here over towards b long as well i think they were expecting elevate to push out over towards b long to get aggressive early on but elevate never get aggressive in this round at least and so you'll see here it is just a pretty slow round that ends up happening nothing really happens and uh, noxic you'll see him occasionally peek out towards that a mid site um from a connector but other than that he really doesn't do much and there's not much peeking out and uh you know over rotating here uh, but basically you know a minute has gone by in this round and not much has happened at all so you'll see merciless here they're gonna rotate all the way over towards the b site um after i'm not sure what the decision was made there but i think they made that mid round call and i want you to notice what nb is doing here so basically they position themselves here uh poppy and genesis for the quick rotations um but you'll see envy he peaks in the wagon position that he's been at all round and uh you know when he does see them he doesn't actually contest so they'll peek their heads out here in just a moment and he'll see a lot of them so he sees quite a few of them the key thing here is he pulls his nade out and he doesn't contest so he throws his nade and then he runs away this is very very important here because the nade by you know when he throws that nade it actually buys him some time since it'll slow down the enemies and then he gets out without actually firing a shot because he knows he's a dead man if he stays there too long so after seeing four players, he calls for the rotate in his team comms. And you'll see Rooms, Poppy, and Luck, and Genesis, they all rotate from that tower position to provide cover fire along with Noxic. So you see four of Merciless's players going over towards Wagon, which is an interesting play because it's a choke point here. Rooms, he's far away here. He's number one, and he's over towards that oil position. So there is really no trade potential for Merciless to kill Rooms out. You'll see here that closer player, Noxic, is there, and he's just providing cover fire right now. Envy, he does get tagged down pretty low, but you'll You'll see he runs out into the open right where his teammates are so you can see there there's a lot of his teammates right there to support him that's noxic right there from connector so he can swing out and he has a teammate as well run that's number two that's popping luck here over towards this uh outside oil position so 
He'll see the frags there and Poppy and Luck will actually get that trade frag for him. So at this point, it's a five versus three. And there are two players from Merciless. That's Mixage and LZD. They're on the bomb site, but there's really not much they can do. They haven't had much control of it. And also one thing that's key to note here, the second LZD gets a kill, Rooms trades that instantly. So that goes back to that trade potential here that they actually found early on in this round. And so once those trades are happening, Merciless never actually get full control of the site. Elevate do an extremely good job of weakening the attack. And so Merciless, you know, they're double or triple peaking every time they have to fight an Elevate player. And so you can see their Mixage not really able to do much in a 1v3. And so Elevate, they take that piss around pretty convincingly. So let's turn to round six, where basically the same rounds occurs, but this time with guns here. You'll see a little bit slightly different elevate. They play players over towards that B mid and B long area. This is past the pistol round, so strats definitely differ. But you'll see here, Merciless GG, they basically go very quick onto that A bomb site. They don't wait for that rotate. They don't just sit over towards B long. Uh, but overall, you'll see similar encounters here. And, uh, you know, obviously it'll take a little bit longer for those rotations to come along because they're playing over towards B mid and B long. Uh, but merciless they go pretty heavily over towards b they full on rush towards the a site and you can see they throw almost all their nades and flashes within the first couple seconds here you can see kirio he throws his nade out and uh, those eventually get thrown out so you can see here merciless they really have no weapons or or they've used a lot of their utility here in expending that so you can see rooms is already ready and waiting here to rotate over there envy he does peek out a little bit but he doesn't contest that's another important thing here is uh well you know, Elevate's ability to buy time here actually allows them to use their name usage once that hit does come through. So Rooms early rotates and Genesis does begin to rotate eventually here. And so you'll see basically what Elevate do is very smart here. They have uh, Poppy Unluck positioned to watch right where LZD is entering. You can see the first thing he sees is to his right Poppy Unluck and he does get that first trade kill. You can see the smoke was also up over towards that wagon position. You know, Prestige does get that kill, but Noxic instantly comes back for two trade frags, leaving it in a two versus four which is not something much that merciless can do about envy he's going to be watching here over towards this position uh over towards connector or, or outside that a area mixage he's not sure whether those players from a have or from b have rotated through that a mid area or that oil position so he's trying to clear a connector but he gets spotted out here towards the end so envy he does get kills or he does get that kill and uh, one thing to note as well you see rooms and Genesis rotating out from oil instead of a mid. The reason they rotate out rotate from oil is because they're not sure if a mid's clear or not. So they're going to take the the safest route here, which is over towards oil and uh, support their team. So now on a one versus four, that flash eventually he calls in for the flash, so that flash does get thrown. And uh, Kirio not only is he blinded, but he takes a big amount of damage and Noxic shuts him down. So after all of that, they're able to just get that frag easily on there, and uh, they swing out and Noxic ends up dying there. So here onto round at number nine, one thing you'll see here is Elevate, they play pretty heavily over towards B this round instead in, well, you might be asking why, you know, uh, usually I said they'd be playing heavily over towards A and Rooms, he's playing hard B mid, Poppy's playing over towards B long and Genesis, he's playing in the middle here as a rotate. Um, the reasoning here, why do Elevate more go more towards B now? They actually know that Merciless have not seen success at A for the past few rounds. So they presume Merciless might actually try B this round, uh, you know, in round seven and eight, Merciless, they tried A and it didn't work for them really that much um so uh, elevate presume that this is going to be a b hit and so they come out with their early utility you can see those nades there do just a bit of damage on the curio uh, but one thing you'll notice here is poppy is actually able to get that first frag and by the time poppy gets that first frag you'll see genesis is already rotating over towards that b mid area with that u ratio Genesis plays a very important part in this round because he's the bait and switch. He has that sniper rifle out and you can see here he's going to take this fight with Rice. He does shoot out and he does take just a bit of damage here, Genesis, but at that he swings out and you can see Rooms, he's going to swing out here. The bait and switch is perfect for him. He doesn't get the kill very cleanly, but he does spot another player out. That's Kirio and Kirio doesn't get the shot out. He misses, but Rooms knows that he's gotten the info here. There's two players that were killed over towards B long and it's already a three versus five. There's still one minute and 28 seconds left in the clock. Rooms has so much info he knows that hey there's three players at least over towards b b um they haven't seen that last player which is mixage and they don't know that uh prestige is over there towards watching over towards a mid 
but this still provides crucial information here you'll see noxic is going to run all the way from his wagon position because he knows that they're probably not close over towards storage you'll see runes he's a little bit aggressive here and he does get taken down by prestige eventually he does peek out a little bit but that gives still gives them crucial information you can see that noxic ends up rotating all the way over he's going to take out kirio and then now it's a two versus four once again so this communication of information the rotations come in very quickly and this trade fragging ability is very very pristine the side of elevate you'll see rooms he gets aggressive right but uh noxic eventually gets that kill on the curio and so now with the two versus four merciless are basically trapped mixage does get a leg shot eventually on the poppy and luck um and you can see here i think they get the kill on to uh envy or or i think it's actually noxic um so prestige you can see because i'm noxic there and mix h he's gonna try and come out here he does actually get the pre-fire off onto poppy but that's a leg shot and so unfortunate for him poppy does get that kill he's gonna take that kill any day of the week and now um prestige is concerned about that b long player because there was a aug there and so he's not gonna check to his right where envy is and he's gonna get that frag so that trade potential coming in very well good communication good positioning by the side of elevate so we're here on round 16 and this is the last round i'm going to cover here this round is very interesting i know i've been saying that for every single um basically round now but this one is in you know, I would say notably interesting because it's a four spy from the side of Elevate on the breach area. So you can see two AKs, one SG, but the Noxic only has a Deagle and Genesis only has an MP5, whereas Merciless, they have basically full weaponry on all of them. So um, you will even see Noxic, you know, Merciless should have an easy time in this round. They'll even start it out with a 3v5 complements of LZD over towards this B mid area. LZD, he doesn't do that great this game, but he does get two massive frags in this round. So you can see here, nice headshots with the M4, he gets that frag on the enemy, and uh, ultimately Poppy and Luck does trade him out. He does get good damage on the Poppy and Luck. So at this point, you're thinking, hey, Merciless, maybe they can pick up a fourth round, get some momentum coming back here. But Poppy and Luck does a very crucial thing. He picks up that SG, he throws it, or yeah, he throws it over to Genesis, who didn't have a gun in the beginning of the round, and he knows that there's an AK over there. That because Connector smoked off, he knows that, hey, they're probably not going to be peeking out. So he really quickly goes and grabs that AK 47. So um while you know they don't really have a lot of map control they do end up getting those guns and they being well equipped so essentially even though it's a 3v4 still they're going to team up and go over towards that b position so because of this rotate over towards b um merciless they're actually also going to start rotating over towards b eventually you can see the spam coming out here and elevate they're just going to make some noise as they walk out here you can see rice is the only player sitting in on the actual be bomb site here um but what you'll see here is because of that flashbang you'll see mix age he's going to rotate over towards that glass area and he's number five so one thing i want to pause it here is you can see he's going to be peeking out over towards b mid and he's going to take the fight against poppy and luck and actually lose it which is something very crucial he overextends and now rice is actually very isolated obviously curio is still here over towards the ct area but he can't really support rice if rice gets into a pick so one thing that's interesting here they didn't really know about rice's position before um, they might have spotted him out, but it wasn't very really clear if he was playing on site or not. So it's a 3v3 right now, and uh, the nades come out from Elevate. But what they do is they actually pump the brakes. So the flashbang actually from Rice alerts the player over towards B Long. That's Genesis, that they're, hey, there is a player over towards this B site. What's weird here is Merciless, they actually, because Elevate, they slowed down, they actually rotate on very early. You can see there, they're going over towards Tower, over towards A. Eventually, I think uh, Prestige, he does rotate back on here. But what Genesis does here is very brilliant. He basically shoots a couple bullets out, draws the attention of uh, Rice playing on site over towards B Long. And so you can see Rice here, he's going to take that contestation over towards a B Long. And eventually when that happens, Poppy and Lucky is over towards B mid. So it's once again, the bait and switch pulled him out and Rice does get taken down. And at this point, the B site is basically free for the taking here. Prestige, he's in a very, very strange position. He's going to try and take the player out over towards B mid. But you can see their rooms is over towards B long and Poppy and Luck after he says or after he hears his teammates that, hey, Prestige is out over in the middle. He's going to come out here and peek out and take him down. So now a one versus three. You know, this was a three versus five here on the side of Merciless, and they're just unable to trade and elevate. They've gotten all the trades here, even when their players get tag damage down elevate they're able to trade frag a lot more effectively so kirio with the aug he does know that players are a bit low and given the time left he wants to just stay alive and hopefully deny that bomb plant but he knows that elevate are going to hunt him because 
well, they have to get this round win if they want to win it. So basically they hunt him down and uh, he's not able to get anyone else. So that is the game. Elevate absolutely obliterating Merciless here. And I mean, they actually mauled him a little bit more on the second map, but there you have it. This is just map one, uh, map two is 13-0. And if you, want me to, if you want me to cover that, please comment it down below. Um, and if you have any suggestions or for improvements here, please let me know. I really did spend quite a bit of time actually prepping this video. I made no of which rounds i made note of you know what what things to cover um, but i'm always open to feedback so always listening to there and thank you for the support from everyone i really appreciate it i would appreciate if you subscribed if you enjoyed this one and i will see you all later thank you everyone and take care